Hello, and welcome back to the show. We have a special announcement for you today. Oh yes, but first, let's spill some tea. So, did you guys enjoy the first episode of our show? Clap if you enjoyed the first episode. Well, guess who didn't like it? Mm-hmm, you guessed it, Della Rue. She even tried to cut our funding. She wanted us out of here like R. Kelly at a school dance. Luckily for us, the check had already cleared, and now we're in partnership with the city of Beverly Hills. So, the show may look a bit different going forward due to time constraints and our new crew here, but I promise to give you guys the same old Wendy. And we have the honor to welcome all new residents of Beverly Chills. So with that said, let's introduce our new residents of Beverly Chills. Bobby Looks, Wave 4, numbers 21, 24, and 25. All the dolls from the line are fully articulated. The theme is pastels. Looks number 21 has braids and a really pretty face. Clearly, she's the star of Wave 4. She has this hoochie mama top that we love and this get em girl skirt with a really pretty pair of Barbie boots. And you know how we feel about Barbie boots, right? Cheap and cheerful. Next up, we have the only guy in the line. He has this slightly awful haircut, but he's really handsome, right? Right? He has a great body, too. Very muscly. He didn't come with this top originally. This top actually belongs to Barbie Looks number 17, but it still fits. It's fine. He has a zesty pair of lavender pants on and these really funky silver cowboy boots. And last but not least, we have a thick girl. She's gorgeous, right? She has long brown hair with some highlights and a good gel down bang in the front. Her dress is pink and shiny. It's got a little poof to it. And on her feet, she has some really cheap and cheerful Barbie boots that are actually really cute. Well, now it's time to welcome these three to the city and get to know them. Come on over here, you guys, and have a seat. Come on. Now, let's go down the row. Tell us your names and what you'll be doing here in Beverly Chills. Hi, Wendy. My name is Madison Parker, and I'll be opening the Madison Paul Photography Studio in Beverly Chills with my boyfriend of four years, Paul. Hi, everyone. My name's Paul Gilbert. Madison and I graduated college just recently, and we're opening up our photography studio to service and promote the residents of Beverly Chills. Ah. Oh, my God. oh, yeah, Madison. You're going to have to put a leash on this cutie. Hi, Wendy. My name is Kaori, and I'm Madison's temporary assistant. Oh, why only temporary? Well, my father's forcing me to get work experience, but I'm all like, why should I have to work? We're rich. <laughs> good point, good point. So, I guess all you kids come from money? Not quite. My family isn't from Beverly Chills. I grew up in Dalzana, California. I got into Beverly Chills University on a scholarship, and I graduated with honors. Oh, she's a smart one. Good for you. So, how have you been able to open a studio in super expensive Beverly Chills? Well, she put what money she did save together with the money that my uncle gave me for graduation, and that's how we got started. Ooh. I see. And who's your uncle? His name's Garrett Gilbert. Ooh. Oh my gosh, the Garrett Gilbert? The famous tech creator? Oh, he's big money. <laughs> yeah, that's him. So what was it like growing up as a Gilbert in Beverly Chills? Are you close with his kids, Kenny and Starfire? Oh, oh, and how about the wife, Leah? What's she like? Um, I'm sorry, Wendy. This interview is about us, not Paul's family or their money. Can we please focus on the accomplishments that we have? Well, aren't you feisty? I like you. We can change topics and talk about my outfit. It was designed exclusively by Mattel. Oh, honey, we don't care. See, this is why Della Rue walked off set. You're a terrible interviewer. I am a great interviewer. I just focus on people that have something going on, not some spoiled little princess. I have plenty going on. Kaori, calm down. I have a date this weekend, I'm going shopping after the show, and I'm going to the Rue Salon to get my hair trimmed. I have a fabulous life. I did all that last Tuesday. So what? Forget this. I'm leaving. I don't have to take this crap from her. Wait, wait! I see something interesting about you on DMZ News. Really? I'm on DMZ? 
You sure are. There's a video of you having an argument with Leah Gilbert outside of the Rue Salon last week. Can we please get back on track and talk more about our studio? We really can't wait to show how fabulous Beverly Chills can be with our photography. Girl, please. We're on to something juicy now. Now, wait a minute. Why were you arguing with my aunt? I, um, uh, um, I, um, uh, Come on, girl. Spill that tea. This is so dumb. I refuse to take part in this narrative. I refuse to take... Kaori, what the hell is going on? Tell me right now. Oh, you have some nerve yelling at me. We weren't arguing. We were trying to cover up your mess. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. What mess? Oh my god, I am not doing this right now. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's talk after the show. Madison, your co-workers are hiding something from you. Okay, that's it. I want to know what mess you're covering up now. Oh, Leah gave me some money to pay off DMZ so they wouldn't publish pictures of Paul and his ex-girlfriend kissing last month, okay? There, I said it. Oh my god. Hey now, Madison, I can explain. Just... I can explain this. I'm so I sorry, Madison. Oh, oh my god. god. Are you okay? I'm so can sorry. Can you imagine I finding out on live like... TV? I I'm oh so my sorry. god, stand back. She's gonna blow. She's going to blow. Oh my god. It is so oh my god. They're over. fighting. They're fighting. <laughs>